Hey guys, here's the uh, next video. This is concerning the number of joints, uh, which he'll generally generally ask. Uh, he won't ask what type on these type of questions. It'll just literally be, you know, how many of such and such joint is on uh, this segment. So the first way he'll ask, or one of the ways anyways, would be a synovial, how many synovial joints are on the vertebral body? Uh, the next one would be how many joints uh, are on the vertebral body in general, in which case that is both synovial and non-synovial. And then the third way would be how many synovial joints total are on that vertebra. Okay, so I just make a little chart here. So starting off, C1 is, again, just kind of remember C1 is generally kind of special, lots of exceptions, uh, generally deal with C1. So kind of make note of that. And then we we'll write a column to C2, 3 through 6, all right, C7. You make a column for T1 through T9 and put a little star above it, and I'll explain that in a moment. T10, again, a little star, 11 through 12, and then last but not least, L1 through L5. All right. Now you have to do them the one, two, and the three on the left side there in that particular order because if you don't, this just simply won't work. So synovial on body or synovial joints on the vertebral body should be in your first column, all right? And then it's joints on the body and then it is synovial joints total, all right? Do you have any clever way of you know remembering that order? I really don't. I uh, just wrote practice was the only way I came up with it. So from there, it's just a little bit of math and kind of just a numbers dance. So if you look at this column, column one here, they kind of follow a little bit of pattern, right? So you start with zeros on the outside, right? And then you write 44, then you skip two and write 22. And then you go back and you just flip it, it'd be 24. Some people like going zeros on the outside and they go 44, 24, 22. However you wanna do it, um, that's just the way I do it. I work on the outsides and work my way in. Now here's where the math comes in. Just simple addition and subtraction. So to go from synovial joints on the body to joints on the body, all you have to do is add six to all the columns except C1, all right, the one that is usually an exception. So, obviously, 4 plus 6 is 10, 4 plus 6 is 10, 2 plus 6 is 8, 4 plus 6 is 10, 2 plus 6 is 8, 2 plus 6 is 8, and 0 plus 6 is 6. Okay, and then to go to the next column, all you do is subtract 2, but you don't from our exceptions. So C1, again, remember C1 is always kind of an exception, okay? T1 through T9, that was the star up here at the top, and then T10, which is our second star. So you simply just do not touch those. And then, so you just got to remember this one is kind of an oddball, five. It's the only five on the chart, so I think it should kind of stick, stick out like a sore thumb. See the way? 10 minus 2 is 8, 10 minus 2 is 8, 8 minus 2 is 6, skip that, skip that, 8 minus 2 is 6, 6 minus 2 is 4. All right, so that is, at least in my experience, uh, the easiest way to figure out just numbers because uh, that is how you'll get questions. You'll get about five, you know, asking how many synovial joints total are there on C1, or how many synovial joints on the body of C2. Just keep in mind, and remember, C1 does not have a body. That's why these are zero. All right, good luck.